No one can change what's happened in the past. But maybe I can do something to make up for it. To help you get a new start. Have Gun. Will Travel. Starring Mr. John Daner as Paladin. San Francisco, 1875, the Carlton Hotel, headquarters of a man called Paladin. Oh, hey, boy. Hello, Mr. Paladin. What? Hey, boy. What happened? Where'd you get that black eye? Hey, boy, have fight. Oh, Hop Sing? Hey, yes, sir. He was bullying you again? Hey, yes, sir. Remember that book hey boy show you? What Confucius say? Remember that thing you say? Good advice? Yes, I remember. If a man does not resent slight injustices, he will soon be called upon to face giant wrongs. Yes, yeah, sir. So, uh, hey boy decide to resent injustice. Uh, show Hop Sing. Yes, yeah, sir. Hey boy get beat up. Well, hey, boy, I was reading through that book, and do you know what else Confucius said? Do not glory in your strength. There is always a stronger. He, Confucius have answer for everything. Mm, yes, he does. Well, do you suppose you have the uh, strength to carry out these bags for me? Yes, sir. Yeah, where are you going, Mr. Paladin? I'm going to El Paso, head boy. While I'm gone, you heed this advice. Discretion is the better part of valor. So... Stay out of Hop Singh's way. Smoking more now, but enjoying it less. Have a real cigarette. Have a camel. So good. Have a camel cigarette. So rich. Have a real cigarette. Have a camel. So mild. Have a camel cigarette. And here's the reason why. Best tobacco makes the best smoke. Have a camel cigarette. Mm, you can say that again. Best tobacco makes the best smoke. Have a camel cigarette. If you're smoking more these days, but enjoying it less, then change to Camels, the best tasting cigarette of all. Have a Camel! Start to really enjoy smoking again. It was early in the morning when I arrived in El Paso. I checked into a hotel, had breakfast, then walked two blocks to a small building. Painted on the glass front door was Melvin B. McCleary, attorney at law. When I first knew Mel McCleary, he was a prosecuting attorney for the state and a good man with a deep and abiding respect for the law. I hadn't seen him since he'd hung out his own shingle. Paladin! Hey, Mel! <laughs> Paladin, hey. I knew you'd come. It's good to see you. How are you, Mel? It's been a long time. Sit down, sit down. Sure, thanks. Well, that's a nice setup you have here. How's it going? Having your own practice. Good, good, very good. I'm so busy right now that I can't even take the time to clear my own conscience. That's why I sent for you. Oh, I can't imagine your conscience carrying a load that would present much of a problem. Mm. You remember a fellow named Wiley Dawson? Dawson? No. Well, you have to go back a few years. It was my first case as prosecutor in Texas. You were here at the time. Oh, Sure, of course. He was a sheriff, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Yeah, I remember. Charged with the holdup of a Wells Fargo office and the murder of a guard. That's right. And if you recall, the outcome of that trial was that Dawson was sentenced to life imprisonment. Yeah. He served three years in Huntsville and escaped. I didn't know that. I felt cheated. I saw to it that the law kept after him, always after him. But he always managed to stay just one jump ahead. Never captured him. No, he's been a fugitive for two years now, living like a hunted animal. 
Well, a month ago, a man made a full confession to that holdup. Dawson has been completely exonerated. Oh. I guess I can understand how you feel, Mel. It hasn't been pleasant living with myself this past month. Well, you only did your job. Eh, whatever. But he's got to be found, Paladin. Somehow I must find a way to try to make amends. I need your help. All right, Mel. Where do I start looking? Thank you, Paladin. Well, there's been no word on him for several months. But there is a woman from down Chinati, way across the border. I've heard she may know something. You might start there. Her name is Maria. That's all I know. I followed the Rio Grande River south and crossed the border into the town of Chinati. It was hot, dry, and dusty. At one end of the only street was a cathedral, at the other end a cantina, with not much in between. I headed for the cantina. It was empty, except for the fat bartender and the even fatter flies. Hello, senor. Yeah, whiskey American. I see. Whiskey American. Yeah. It's a nice day, no? No. Is there a hotel in this town? No, senor. Is there a restaurant, some place to eat? Tengo hambre. Ah, sí, señor, you can eat. Eat, yeah. Tierros. Muy bueno. Where is it? It's out there, that way. Una casita, you can find. Thanks. What's your name? Esteban. Esteban? Do you know a man named Wiley Dawson? No sabe. Wiley Dawson? No sabe. You know his girlfriend? Her name's Maria. You know where I can find her? No, sorry. Look, Esteban, I come as a friend to Senor Dawson. I have a very important message for him. Don't know him. Don't know nothing. Uh, believe me, he'll be glad to see me. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know how to convince you, but sometimes this can be pretty convincing. Ah, uh, see. Si. Ah, uh, 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 not so fast. Wiley Dawson, you know him? Senor, not for all the gold you could stack from here. To here, could I tell you that? Look, if he shows up this afternoon, I'll be at Tia Rosa's. Tia Rosa's was about a half mile from the cantina, a small adobe hut set in the middle of nothing. The food was not muy bueno, but it was filling, and the specialty of the house, as far as I was concerned, was a dirt-floored patio that boasted a large cottonwood tree. After eating, I lay down in the blessed shade and promptly fell asleep. My awakening was a rude one. I was lifted to my feet by the front of my shirt, and a fist drove it in my chin. You, hey, you, what? Uh... Come here. Oh, no, wait. Look. That's from Wiley Dawson, mister. I promised myself that the next one that came along was going to get it. That's you. Come here. Huh? <laughs> no, 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 stop it. There's lots of hate behind that fist, mister. You, all of you, dogging my trail, hounding me. I've had enough. I'm not running anymore, see? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Lucy, if anyone phones me tonight, I'm not home. Oh, dear. All week you've been coming home like this, cross and tired. If you'd had my nagging backache with restless, sleepless nights, you'd feel worn out, too. But why just complain of backache? Do something. What? Try Doan's pills. Right. Doan's pills are an analgesic and mild diuretic to the kidneys. Nagging backache, also headache, dizziness, and muscular aches and pains may come on with overexertion, emotional upsets, or everyday stress and strain. Doan's pain-relieving action is often the answer, and they also offer mild diuretic action through the kidneys. So if nagging backache is making you feel worn out, tired, and miserable, with restless, sleepless nights, don't wait. Try Doan's pills, used successfully by millions for over 60 years. 
See if they don't bring you the same welcome relief. Get Doan's pills today. To save money, buy Doan's big economy size. At last you open your eyes. Hmm. Well, what do you know? Where do you come from? I am Maria. The old woman, Tia Rosa, is my grandmother. Maria? You Wiley Dawson's girl? I am Wiley Dawson's wife. His wife? Where's Dawson? He had to go. Some men came from him. There was a big hurry. Please, senor, you make yourself able to leave here before he gets back. Miss Dawson, I have to talk to you. Did your husband think I was the law? Is that not right? You are? No, no, no. I came to bring him word that he doesn't have to run away from the law anymore. He's a free man. What is this, you say? Another man has confessed to the crime that he was charged with. Uh, a terrible wrong has been done to your husband, Maria. You sit there, senor. And you say terrible wrong. You don't know how terrible. I can guess. We marry when Wiley have escaped from prison. We go to Kansas and homestead. But comes law. We run. Wiley work in mine in Arizona. Law come. We run. Run, run, always run. Because of something another man do. No one can do anything about the past, Maria, but maybe something can be done to make up for it, to help you get a new start. It is too late, senor. What do you mean? My husband tried to do what is right, but, senor, only so much a man can hold. How you say? You have the name? Just as good to have the game. My husband has now joined with El Bandido Paco. Paco? See. Si. How long ago did he throw in with Paco? Only last week. They meet and they talk in the cantino. By the way Paco hates gringos, he must have some good reason for taking your husband in. Probably a job he is planning where he'll need him. Is he with Paco now? Si. Paco's men come. Say ride to camp this instant. And do you know the trail of this camp? I have seen it, yes. Well, come on, show me. I'm going up there. No. No, senor. No one goes to Paco's camp, unless Paco says so. Maria, I have a job to do to find Wiley Dawson, deliver the message to him that he's a free man. And take him back to El Paso. He'll be helped to make a new life. But none of that will matter unless I can get to him before he starts out with Paco and really commits a crime. See, si. I understand. Huh? Pare. Stop here. Oh, no. Is this it? Up ahead. That trail. Up through those rocks there? See, si. Senor. There is a rifle behind every bush. Now, they're riflemen. Would they shoot to kill? Or just uh, take me prisoner? Take you prisoner, of course. To have the pleasure to torture the gringo. Believe me, Senor Paladin. You should not go up there. Look, Maria, will you take this? It's my card. Now, I've written a name on the back of it, the name of the man in El Paso. If I am, uh, well, uh, if, if, if I'm detained, see if you can get in touch with him, will you? Yes. You are a foolish man. But que Dios te bendiga. Thank you. All right, now you go back, Maria. Adios. Adios. All right, boy. Come on. Come on. Take up your feet. Come on. Alto! Alto! Oh, oh, no. oh. Lele! My name is Paladin. The Ringo! Venga acá! The Ringo! Pronto! Mind 
Munch, munch, munch a bunch of Fritos. Corn chips, it's not polite to smack your lips. But you can't help it with Fritos. Corn chips, munch, munch, munch a bunch of Fritos. Corn chips. That's right, Fritos corn chips. So crisp and light, there's contentment in every munch. Serve them at outdoor parties, as a snack, or with dips. Fritos corn chips are so good with cold drinks, everyone will want to munch a bunch. Fritos have a flavor no other kind of chip can match. Munch, munch, munch a bunch of Fritos corn chips. Fritos are golden chips of corn just made to munch. Keep Fritos corn chips on hand for the perfect warm weather between meal treat. Tuck a bag in every lunch, picnic, or otherwise. Serve them with sandwiches, salads, all summer meals. Fritos corn chips are full of good, crisp, refreshing flavor. F-R-I-T-O-S, Fritos corn chips. Munch, munch, munch a bunch of Fritos corn chips. Rifles were trained on me from all sides as I was led up the trail. Otto's camp was in a wide valley that lay on the other side of the steep cliff. There were many untidy rows of jacales, thatch-roofed huts. And in front of the biggest one, squatting on the ground in a circle, were a bunch of the meanest-looking men I've ever seen, and Wiley Dawson. Horses were standing nearby, saddled and ready. Andale, gringo. Sí. Yeah. Hey, Paco. Nosotros encontrábamos este gringo en la perera. What do you want, gringo? I come to talk to Wiley Dawson. You. Look, didn't you have enough? Dawson, who is this man? The law, Pac. I am not the law. Candid Chinati after me. I knocked him around some. I should have killed him. Dawson, will you listen to me? You don't have to run from the law anymore. A man confessed to the crime you were charged with. You're a free man. Oh, it's a trick, Mr. Dawson. This gringos from the law have many tricks. Sure, it's a trick. They've used just about every one in the book to try to get Dawson, you. listen. You listen, lawman. Five years ago, I was convicted of robbing a Wells Fargo office and killing a guard. I didn't do it. You want to know where I'm going now? I'm going into El Paso, and I am going to rob that Wells Fargo office, and if a guard gets in my way, I'll kill him. Don't do it. Come on, Dawson, we must go. You, gringo, lawman, we'll save you for when we get back. Then we have a sport. We feed you to ants. Vámonos, señores. Pancho, tie up this gringo lomen. We save him for later. The men mounted the horses and rode off. Then at the point of a rifle, I was prodded into one of the huts and my hands and feet were tied. Sometime later, I began to consider that perhaps I was too conscientious about my work when I heard the commotion outside. Senor Paredes. Huh? Maria. I was at the bottom of the trail. I saw the men right away, my husband with. Senor, he does not belong with us bandidos. Of course he doesn't. What's going on out there? There are not many men left in camp. I see that they are busy. I set fire to the jacales at the far end. Here, let me untie your hands. Yeah. Well, how did you get by the trail guards? With a lie, I say I'm on errand for my husband. Uh, maybe it wasn't a lie, Maria. Maybe I can still stop him. Can you get me a gun? I think so. He... There, your hands are free. Thanks. Now I get these ropes around my ankles. Senor, what can you do against all of those Paco's bandidos? <sighs> Paco's bandidos won't dare ride into El Paso. They'll stay at a safe distance. It'll be Dawson and maybe a couple of Paco's men, one that he feels he can afford to lose. <clears throat> there we are. Your horse is still out there. Good. I'll look out and see if it's clear. There's no one. How's the fire? It does very well. Yeah, it's spreading. I believe it's even drawn the trail guards. Well, let's go, Maria. It was a long ride and a hard one. And I knew I was making good time, but it wasn't good enough. When I reached El Paso, there were gunshots coming from the Wells Fargo office. And by the time I dismounted and went inside, the safe had been blasted open and the guard lay on the floor with a bullet. In hey. Bandits, rob safe. Who shot you? Little Mexican. Mexican bandits. Which way they go? Out the back. All right, you'll be all right. I'm going after them. Hey, you, stop. Dawson, hold it. Yeah. Yeah. Dawson, 
Looks like you win, lawman. You're a persistent cuss. <laughs> You're a stubborn one. I am not a lawman. It doesn't matter. But I want you to know I didn't shoot that guard. I know. He told me who it was. He can testify for you. Oh, he'll be all right. But your compañeros are dead. Maybe better if I was. Ah, nonsense. Uh, Dawson. What? I'll take the stand for you, too. And there's a, a lawyer I know, the best in the state. He feels he owes you a lot. What are you talking about? <laughs> You'll see. Ah, we better get that shoulder fixed up. Come in. Oh, oh, oh Miss hello, Wong. little Violet. I'm so <laughs> glad to see you back. Well. All right, I clean the room now? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I've been waiting for you, Miss Wong. Oh, oh wait. Wait now. Remember what you wanted me to bring you from Mexico? Hmm? Oh, Look. little Polly, a big hat. The sombrero, Oh, Ms. Wong. lovely, Mr. Polly. Here, let me put him on. There. Oh, now, well, uh, it, is, it is. It is. That's lovely, oh, Miss Wong. Yes, uh, but uh, why anyone in San Francisco should want one of those is <laughs> beyond me. Oh, Mr. Paladin, rain all the time in San Francisco. Big hat keep rain off of me. Oh, 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 I see. Oh, oh, oh yes. Thirsty people everywhere prefer ice-cold Pepsi-Cola. And because it's light, it refreshes without filling. Charlie, be sociable. I am, Kay. Pepsi is a favorite of thirsty people from Maine to Hawaii, from Alaska to Florida. Charlie. It's perfect for parties or picnics, so serve Pepsi to your guests. That's helpful, but... This is the sociable part. Keep plenty of Pepsi ice-cold and ready. Remember, it goes fast because everybody likes Pepsi. Singing still sounds more inviting. May I? Be sociable, look smart, keep up to date with Pepsi. Drink light, refreshing Pepsi. Stay young and fair and debonair. Be sociable, have a Pepsi. But singing doesn't say, pick up an extra carton of Pepsi today. Better yet, get a case. You do that. Have Gun, Will Travel. Created by Herb Meadow and Sam Rolfe, is produced and directed in Hollywood by Frank Paris and stars John Daner as Paladin with Ben Wright as Hayboy and Virginia Gregg as Miss Wong. Tonight's story was specially written for Have Gun, Will Travel by Ann Dowd. Featured in the cast were Harry Bartell, Bartlett Robinson, Jack Edwards, Don Diamond, and Peggy Weber. This is Hugh Douglas inviting you to join us again next week when CBS Radio presents Have Gun, Will Travel. 